have the college tower. Yeah, they've done a lot of, pro lot of work on this since the last time we were here six months ago. I think the core was up to the, uh, I think it was up to the 20th floor, I think, last time, and there was no more on the site. And they were still doing the concrete podium, and we finished that. I don't think, I don't think that part was there then. I mean, that was up to about the second level, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's quite windy, so we Finished. Yeah, it's very tall. It's the tallest building in Croydon at the moment. If they build one land down, that'll be even taller, about half again taller. car park and I think there's another level under that I think so I think it's two levels under or partially underground and another level which is underground underneath generators running here so it's a bit noisy yeah that's the uh, college green site which I think another developer will bring forward I don't think it's been sold yet but I think Thai Construction are just using it to store building materials and all their cabins are on there and that so eventually they will there is planning permission to build a 29 storey tower on this corner some other low-rise buildings but whoever buys the site might may choose to upscale that but that scheme does have planning permission so they may just build that not sure yet not until a buyer's found and we get some information on it yeah i think it's uh, 825 co-living units and 120 uh, shared ownership apartments on this part yeah, they've not put any modules on this side yet, it's just the co-living side that they've done that. Yeah, if you check out all the previous videos I've done on this, there's loads of information there, and as it used to look before, it was just an old car park, surface level car park before. Yeah, they've done quite a lot, it was here six months ago. Yeah, it's Morello Phase 2 over there, those two towers there, two 25-storey towers. Ruskid Square, phase two of offices there. I've just done a video on that. Just have to stand back here and we'll get a better look up then. Obviously you've got the railway there, East Croydon Station just down there. Yeah, 149 metres it'll be the tallest section. I think the lowest section I think is 100. I think it's 120 if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, both cores are finished. The concrete factories have been removed. That was the blue section that moved up, constructed each level. They've took them off now and they've took the uh, freestanding tower crane and the tyres off. The little red things there is where the crane tyres used to be. And they've put a crane mounted it on top of the core. There is one due to go on the smaller core, but that's not been put on there yet. Yeah, they've not done any cladding as of yet. I should imagine they'll start that shortly. 
yeah, your level shops uh, or commercial units on the ground floor and your level walkway. Yeah, the walkway will start at street level and that's all the way there where that guy's walking now. And then it'll carry on and then eventually if they build College Green it'll just be level straight into College Green. Then underneath you'll have the underground car park for the vehicles and that. And then you'll have the development above. If they do build a 20, 29 storey tower, it'll stand just on the corner down there, there where that guy's standing in the hut there. And obviously the cars, the cars and that will go down there round. I think the entrance to the underground car park's round underneath and then you'll come in that way underneath. Like. Yeah, 49 storeys and 35, uh, 34 storeys. Yeah, so it's above 10 degrees there. That used to be known as 101 Jewel Street, but they gave it an official name, 10 degrees. But that's all finished now. Not sure what's going on with Mondale House here. I'm not sure if they're going to take that on. There's been no talk of anything like that. Yeah, we'll have a walk down the bottom, we may get told off for it, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, the permissions they had to build a 35-storey tower here have, have, have um, expired now, so that probably won't happen now. So maybe another developer, or maybe Tide might take it on, we don't know. Yeah, if they do, this belongs to it, so they'll knock all this down and all this will be redeveloped as well. Brown car park as well down there. Obviously the railway line's running just behind just behind there. used to be the uh, bridge link that went into the multi-storey car park that used to be there, Fairfield multi-storey car park that's long been since knocked down that's where it used to be yeah that'll be the entrance to it it's an underground car park and then you'll probably go in that way to it yeah I think this will be brought in as a, as a pedestrian entry point into the, Fairfield, into the uh, College Green development if they build it Another developer, so I think it's Stonegate Homes have got permission to knock down the old College Annex buildings there and build a 12 storey building there, 12 storey apartment building, but there's nothing on that yet. They've got permission, but they've not started it yet. Obviously, the old building's still there, so yeah, this is an electrical substation here. I don't know if it's for the railway. Yeah, 3366 KV Transformer, Transformer 1. have a look around here. Yeah it doesn't go anywhere just dead ends here. Yeah railway lines just behind that wall there. I'd imagine this will be kept because I think this is uh, it's probably for the railway or probably for the uh, East Croydon area. Yeah, this will be Croydon's tallest building. As I say, if they build one Lansdowne, I have done videos on one Lansdowne, so you can check those out. Yeah, that'll be 68 floors, 44, 68 floors if they build that. Obviously, Queen's Square, the Nestle Tower work still hasn't restarted on that yet, so I'll, as soon as it does, I'll do a video on that. Yeah, Queen's Quarter there, the back there where Taberna House used to be, that's near, near in completion. They, they reckon June that'll be finished. That's 35 storeys, that building at the back there. Yeah, 
shall have set the alarm off there. <laughs> Yeah, obviously all this will be repaved, they'll repave the whole thing, all this will be ripped up and redone. Yeah, that's block A. This part will be block B, even though they will be joined together. You won't be able to get from one part to the other, they'll be separate buildings that are joined together. Yeah, that's the co-living section there, this part, the 49 storeys and the 34 storey part is the uh, shared ownership. There's 120 shared ownership uh, apartments there and I think 825 co-living in this section. This is Tower A, it's Tower B, it's a van swim port. Yeah, Tower A, Tower B. Up to about the tenth floor, I think, on the modules. One, two, three, four. Eleven, eleven floors. Got a long way to go yet before they reach forty-nine. Yeah, I think Grey Star and Henderson Park, they bought this, took on this part, uh, 10 degrees. I think they've taken on College Tower as well. Obviously, it's time construction and development. Yeah, there's uh, retail units or commercial units. They've not let those yet. I think there's about two or three, I think. systems uh, in factory modules, uh, factory in Bedford, same as they did, 10 degrees. I'm not sure how many modules are going in, so there's 1,500 in this. I'm not sure how many in College Tower. It's not really been that much media coverage on this like there was on 10 degrees for some reason. That's uh, 38 storeys, and that part's 44 storeys. Obviously, that's 49, what we've just talked about College Tower, and 34 at the back there. Yeah, got the floor numbers there 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right up to 14. Then. Unless they're including this. Uh, 10, Two, one, they're including that in that count, so that's that's concrete. That is concrete level. That plinth is about six foot thick, solid reinforced concrete. That is holding all those modules. Yeah, they've done a similar plinth on this when they did this. I think it was about five foot thick. Obviously this is higher up because they've added more levels underneath. I think the plinth on this one's about here. On the first floor this one's about on the third.
section around the edge, but that part there is solid right through, it's solid concrete. It's got to hold the weight of all those modules sitting on top of it. Anyway, we'll have a walk around the other side and have a look from there. Yeah, 96 George Street, I think tired of using those two buildings, I think it's their offices that place why they're constructing the College Tower, they were using it while they did this one, but now College Tower, they're using it for that as well. Yeah, there is plans to demolish uh, St Matthew's House, which is the little brick building there, then obviously 96 George Street there, they put up an 11 storey, I thought it was 10, but it is an 11 storey building, but Obviously there's no movement on that, they've got a planning application in but it still hasn't been decided until they find a tenant for it, it probably won't get built. Yeah, I did a video on this I think last time I was in Croydon. Obviously you've got Croydon College along there. Yeah, Mondale House at the end there, 102 George Street. I don't know what's going to happen with that. If someone takes it on, the developer takes it on, they may pull it down and build a new tower there. It'd be nice to see Tide do it actually. Put up an even taller building, say 58 storeys, something like that. It'd be cool standing there, wouldn't it? Yeah, so it's time I come to Croydon, I'll do more videos on this until it's finished. Yeah, they're up there now, putting a, installing another module, I think there's some guys up there. Yeah, 149 metres, and I think that one's 120 metres. Yeah, 10 degrees, I think it's 135 metres. I can't really remember how tall that section was. Um, I think it was 125 metres if my memory serves me, that sort of section there. But this is the second development, that was the first College Towers, the uh, second development that Tide are doing in Croydon. As I say, if they do do a third it could be on Mondar House or they could take on uh, College Green and don't know yet at this stage, I've just been guessing. I've got all the write up and uh, images and information at the end of this video. So I'll uh, catch you in the next one.